let's understand this problem and then go forward okay now it says that we have got a man okay we have we have a man and this man travels okay understand this man travels 1.5 meters towards east okay 1.5 meters towards east and then and then he travels 2.0 meters towards uh, south okay towards south and finally and after that finally the person travels 4.5 meters again towards east okay 4. Point now simple question is simple what would be his distance and what would be his displacement let's do this problem first okay what would be his distance and what would be his displacement so whenever you have these problem i hope you have the sense of direction with you our sense of direction is this way if you travel east where is east east is on this side this is west this is north and this is south keeping this in mind let us try and plot this diagram first okay let's try and plot this diagram so first of all what's happening the person is traveling 1.5 meters east so let's have 1.5 meters east any scaling we can do that's not an issue so let me write it that this is 1.5 meters towards east now whenever you say east you should give a arrow now this is towards east thereafter so this is done thereafter he travels two meters south okay so he now travels two meters south so he has traveled two meters south okay 2.0 meters and this has gone south after that the person again travels 4.5 meters east means the person goes this side and this is how much 4.5 meters east right we are asked to find out so whenever you see this problem, where did the person start from? He started from here. He concluded his journey here. So can we name this? This is my initial point and this is my final point. So we need to find distance first. What is distance? Distance is the sum of the actual distance traveled without the without any direction. Kya ho Sab log bade josh ke kam mein ho aaj. 1.5, 2.0, 4.5. How much does it count up to? 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, and 0.5.5 makes it 9. 4. So this is 8. His distance is 8 meters. How many of you have understood how I calculated the distance? All of you. Vivan, dear, don't put head hand on the head. Then you'll feel frustrated to study. Josh, eh? class has just started. Okay. How many of you have understood how to calculate the distance? Is the length of the actual path traveled irrespective of the direction in which the person is traveling? Okay, there's no question about the direction at which the person is traveling, right? Fine. Now let's see what is the displacement. So when you talk about displacement, it is always the shortest straight line distance from the initial point to the final point. Initial point to the final point. Okay, now how do we calculate the distance? Initial point whole square uh, minus uh, final point whole square, I think. Mm, how do we calculate it? No, why do you remember? Do we apply geometry here. I think, Zoe, these things are taught very nicely in Cambridge. Just apply geometry. We need to find the pink line. So what is the pink line? Isn't the pink uh, line? Hi hypotenuse. Yeah, hypotenuse. So how do we get the hypotenuse? We don't know. This one is 2.0. Right, it's a rectangle now. If this is 2.0, this is how much? 1.5. So what is the entire length of the base? Can anybody tell me what is the base length now? Six. Six, very good. So this is six, 6.0. And this is 2.0. Can you now find out? Displacement? Mm -hmm. So displacement should be equal to root over two square plus six square. As long as you are correct, it will come correct. Otherwise, it will come wrong. 4 plus 36. That makes it root 40. 40 means 4 into 10. So, 2, ten root, root. 2 root 10. Is it? Yes. How many of you have got 2 root 10? How many did not get? I may also be wrong. Though. Just don't rely on me. Correct? 
हाउ मेनी डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड डोंट हेजिटेट बिटू इसमें हेजिटेशन का कोई बात नहीं है समझ में आया कि नहीं बताइए All faces. हाँ 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 या ना तो बोलो बच्चो रखने से मैं you are supposed to travel east from here is there any other way to go to east east is a straight travel you are traveling south from here is there any other way to go to south this is the only way and then you are again traveling east so my three red lines are always you cannot have a separate for them after that what i am doing after that i am supposed to calculate the distance from initial point to final point so i just i i need to calculate this part so if i am able to get a right angle triangle mera kaam ho gaya and this part is same as this part it's a part of a rectangle and this part is what this much portion is given to me ye portion ko niche le aao bas 1.5 1.5 plus 4.5 ho gaya khatam kaam theek hai sir sir yeah i think i i think it's over complicating it but how about we take the hypotenuse of both But if you take the hypotenuse, the then then then, then it will be more them. complicated. How do you know this part? Do you know this part? Do you know this part? Yeah. Pata hai kya? Nahi hai na? Kahan pata hai? You are trying to make puri with compass. It is difficult. Puri bell ke bana lo. Asan hota hai. Compass se thodi puri banta hai. Sir. Ah, sir, bolye. Sir, so this example in the book, uska displacement it is showing six point three. करो ना नाइन का रूट कितना होता है यूज योर कॉमन सेंस व्हाट इज़ द रूट ऑफ नाइन थ्री थ्री इंटू टू इज हाउ मच सिक्स तो टेन का रूट विल बिट मोर देन थ्री टेन रूट शुड बी लिटिल बिट मोर देन थ्री राइट सो वील ऑल्सो गेट सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट देन आर कैसियो डालिंग इज हियर लेट सी विथ आर कैसियो डालिंग हाउ मच इज इट रूट टेन एंड देन वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विथ हाउ मच टू सो यू आर आंसर माई आंसर इज ऑल्सो सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री Why do you get so afraid looking at the answers? Just look now. Root ten. Root ten. We don't know. Do we know root nine? Yeah, root nine is three. Three multiplied by two is six. We are root ten. We will be little bit more than three. Now, up now. Look, we six point three. Did you understand this problem? Okay. Now I'm giving you a problem orally. Start thinking. A man travels two kilometers east. Thereafter, he travels two kilometers north. Thereafter, he travels two kilometers west. Thereafter, he travels two kilometers south. ओरली मन मन में सोचो आंखें बंद कर लो अ मैन ट्रेवल्स टू किलोमीटर ईस्ट देन ही ट्रेवल्स टू किलोमीटर नॉर्थ देन ही ट्रेवल्स टू किलोमीटर वेस्ट एंड देन ही ट्रेवल्स टू किलोमीटर साउथ वॉट इज इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस इट्स एक्चुअली स्क्वेर दैट ही समझ में आया चले आगे राइट चलो New concept today. अब कुछ नया चीज पढ़ेंगे सो आर वी फाइन विद वेक्टर्स स्केलर्स डिस्टेंस डिस्प्लेसमेंट रेस्ट एंड मोशन एनी वन हैज एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ कफ इन दीज थिंग्स विद इन्फेक्शन वी कैन मूव फॉरवर्ड ऑल आर क्लियर ऑन दीज थिंग्स रेस्ट मोशन स्केलर वेक्टर फाइन चलो अब अब नया चीज सीखेंगे सो द न्यू थिंग दैट वी गोट लर्न टूडे विल टॉक अबाउट टू कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड डोंट ट्राई टू मग अप वॉट इज रिटर्न इन बुक बिकॉज देन इट विल बी हाफ हार्टेड अंडरस्टैंडिंग uniform motion we will first talk about uniform motion okay what is uniform motion let us try <coughs> and take an example first let's say this is a time this is a time chart okay this is a time chart 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 let's say we started at 7 am in the morning This is eight a.m., nine a.m., ten a.m., eleven, twelve, thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred. I hope you all know how to see the clock by thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred. You know, right? Fourteen hundred is two o'clock, fifteen hundred, right? This is how time is going. This, let's say this is time, okay? And let's say at seven o'clock, exams are over, and we decide 
to travel by road to Bombay. Okay, we are traveling by road to Bombay. Okay. At seven o'clock, we start our journey. Right? At eight o'clock, say suppose we have traveled 100 kilometers. Try and understand. Understand first. Then the definition will become clear. At nine o'clock, and I'm I'm again measuring the distance from here, right? Okay, the distance is measured from here. So this is my this is my distance. And this is time. Okay. Let's try and understand. So after that, I say that just one minute. Yeah. Now, after that, at nine o'clock, say suppose I have traveled 200 kilometers. At 10 o'clock, I have traveled 300 kilometers, 400 kilometers, 500 kilometers, 600 kilometers, 700 kilometers. And by three o'clock, I have reached Mumbai, 800 kilometers almost. I've gone very, 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 um, uh, this, is, this can never happen actually that you know you're going 100. Now let's try and question ourselves. What is the gap? What is the gap between, you know, from here to here? What is the gap in time? One hour. One hour. One hour. One hour. One hour. So don't you think every time interval is a one hour gap out here? Everything is a one hour gap. One hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour and one hour. Can I call these as equal intervals of time? Okay. Equal intervals of time. Do you agree? Equal intervals of time at one hour, one hour. Tell me in the first one hour, how much did I travel? 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers. No. So, so my, my delta here is 100 kilometers in the first one hour. In the first two hours, how much did I travel? 400 kilometers. 400. In the first two hours? 200. 200. 200 kilometers I traveled. In the first two hours means I'm asking from here to here. I traveled 200 kilometers. But only in the second hour, how much did I travel? 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers. Okay. Second hour to third hour, how much did I travel? 100 kilometers. So by now you are getting everywhere I have traveled 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers. Right? 100 and then 100. Okay. So now I'm asking you to count from 100 to 100. Your school and teacher, everybody will teach you what you know. They'll say this is uniform motion when a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time. It is said to be uniform motion. Now we will dispute it. Okay. Equal distances in equal interval. So what are the equal distances? Our body, our body children is covering how much? Our body is every time covering 100, 100, 100 in equal intervals of time of one hour. One hour, one hour, one hour, it is covering 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Theke? Isko agar hum aise graph mein plot karne ki koshish kare, let's say we try to plot this in graph, but this is not understanding, okay? Let's say we plot it, uh, we plot our x-axis with time. So let's say our x-axis is time, okay? This is time, okay? And let's say this is one hour, two hour, three hour, four hours, five hours, six hours and let's say this is distance 100 200 300 400 right 500 whatever it is at the first hour right at the start where we were we were at the origin okay when first hour passed we just traveled one hour second hour passed we traveled two hour third hour three fourth hour four fifth hour like this six like this Isko agar join karenge, to what type of graph I'm getting? You tell straight me. Line. Oh, straight line. Straight line. Ah, all I've studied in school. Straight line. But I'll dispute it. I'm disputing it now. Huh? Now question. Now physics starts. I am disputing it. Why am I disputing it? Just look at my points. Okay. Let's look at my points. This is one point. This is one point. This is one point. One point. Point, point. All of you agree? If I join these points, it will be a straight line. I, I don't dispute it. My question is, who has given you the right to join these two points? Sir, I did not understand what you're asking. Let's take one point now. Okay, tell me. What is this time? What is this time? 7.30. 7.30. 30, roughly 7.30. How much distance did you cover at 7.30? 50 kilometers. Now you all are like sheep. You know what happens to sheep? If you take a flock of sheep, 
and you make them jump over the bamboo first sheep will dan jump the second one will jump the third one will jump and then you remove the bamboo all the sheep following them will all jump because uska aage wala jump kiya hai aapko kaise pata hai humko humne to information nahi diya aapko i told you that after one hour it is covered 100 kilometers it could have been that the first half an hour it travel slow and the next half an hour it travel fast aisa bhi to ho sakta hai i am examining the car after every one one hour i don't have information about what happened in between if i give shorya a homework today and i tell him shorya do one problem every day i am giving you three problems on the end of the third day bring your homework he brings his homework does that mean that he did one problem each day may not be he may have done three problems on one day do you agree or he must have slept for the first two days isn't it interesting physics so many people define uniform motion i'll tell you how you define uniform motion a body is said to be under uniform motion if it travels equal distances in equal intervals of time but that is misleading that is misleading because because we don't know we don't know what is happening between this time ye time ka hame nahi pata how are you making a straight line here this could have been something like this also this could have been something like this also you don't have that information so we need to change our definition and that is where the book of lakshmi singh helps you a body is said to be in uniform motion if it travels equal distances in equal intervals of time now the question it says no matter how small the intervals may be ah this makes it clear means instead of having a one hour instead of having a one hour had i had my interval at 30 minutes then you will say sir it has travel 50 kilometers okay reduce the interval to 15 minutes sir it has travel 25, 25 kilometers jitna chhota karte jao aapko equal hi milte rahega then only you can say a body is traveling in uniform motion so shall we write us talk about the definition once again a body is said to be under uniform motion if it travels equal distances in equal intervals of time no matter how small the time intervals may be in one hour how much are you going sir i am going 100 kilometers that means every 60 minutes my car is traveling how much 100 km that means i tell okay in one minute how much did you travel sir i exactly traveled 100 by 60 which is 10 by 6 which is equal to 5 by 3 km yes you are in uniform motion sir i still don't agree with you let us break this further okay 30 seconds how much did you travel 30 seconds i traveled 5 by 6 km i am obeying uniform motion now my question to you is is it possible in your daily life you get out of pebble city say and you will always say hey, hey, hey every 10 minutes we should only go 10 kilometers there's a buffalo on the road bang it sir has said uniform motion there is traffic on the road hit them the road is free don't speed sir has said uniform motion possible eh not no, possible no way. it's like the report like the time table you make every morning i'll get up and study geography will you will no you don't obey it. but if you obey it is good so uniform motion means a body now how many of you understood the concept definition is not important we will just write the definition in one way so i'll come back to questions now a body is said to be in uniform motion if it travels equal distances in equal intervals of time no matter how small so what did you do sir first we observed the body after every one hour interval then we found uniform motion then we questioned ourselves but we don't know what shorya did between one day so what it happened between the first 30 minutes okay check it at 30 minutes sir at 30 minutes we found it covered 50 kilometers very good check it at 25 minutes so sorry 15 minutes sir at 15 minutes we found 25 kilometers oh excellent check it at 1 minute interval sir at 1 minute we found 5 by 3 kilometers fantastic check it at 30 seconds i don't believe that driver so it exactly covered 5 by 6 kilometers absolutely fine you are now entitled to make these as straight lines and that is how you get the straight line graph don't just go to the blackboard and draw a straight line uniform motion oh it's a straight line ha huh? why straight line now anyone who has not understood the concept then we'll write the definition anyone any question so far 
कुछ भी लैंग्वेज चेंज करके बताओ एक गाड़ी यूनिफॉर्म मोशन में तब हो सकता है जब वो इक्वल डिस्टेंस कवर करता है इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम में बशर्ते जितनी भी छोटी है इंटरवल्स क्यों ना हो एक घंटे पे हमने देखा गाड़ी सौ किलोमीटर जा रही थी आधे घंटे में पचास फिर पंद्रह मिनट में पच्चीस एक मिनट में गाड़ी गई पांच बाई थ्री और एक मिनट के बाद एक मिनट में हाँ एक मिनट और फिर थर्टी सेकेंड्स में हमने गाड़ी को चेक किया पांच बाई सिक्स गया ड्राइवर यू आर ग्रेट यू आर ट्रेवलिंग इन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन इसका सीधा ग्राफ बना दो एनी क्वेश्चन मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इज चेंज सो देन चेंज द ग्राफ नो नहीं नहीं वही वही मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इस चेंज चेंज अगर व्हेन डेटा चेंजेस ग्राफ चेंजेस यू कैंट एक्सपेक्ट अ अ बुलक कार्ड टू गो इन वन आर वन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स इट वोंट गो अ बुलक कार्ड में इन वन आर गो मैक्सिमम हाउ मच टेन किलोमीटर्स नॉट मोर देन दैट आर क्वेश्चन इज नॉट अबाउट द ग्राफ आर क्वेश्चन इज अ यूनिफॉर्म मोशन विल ऑलवेज हैव अ स्ट्रेट लाइन ग्राफ एज लॉन्ग एज it obeys the definition of uniform motion that is equal distances in equal intervals of time right now see children once again one more thing we'll see and then now what is the distance covered sir distance covered was this much sorry sir distance covered was this much time taken was this much okay if distance is let's say let's analyze it more better time taken is this much half then how much is distance covered exactly half is the distance covered sir okay this time distance time taken is half of this how much is distance exactly half of this that is how it is theek hai likhe definition abhi likh lijiye a body likhe a body is said to be in uniform motion that's how you make your notes now if you make your notes from lakshmi singh with the bold letters written and make your use double sketch pen nicely you write uniform motion right uniform motion in your in your physics notebooks mark two red lines below it with your scale and write your note a body is said to be in uniform motion or a body has uniform motion or a body is said to be in uniform motion a body you can write has uniform motion if it travels equal to motion yes by now you know everything if it if it travels equal distances and equal intervals of time yes equal distances in equal intervals of time no matter at, at, at the caveat no matter how small how small the time intervals may be so you have ruled out any any doubt or any anything anything ambig ambiguous you have ruled it out so no matter how small no matter how small the time intervals may be okay and next line you write the graph what graph this will be this will be a distance time graph write down the distance time graph of a body under uniform motion is a straight line okay children understand whenever we call straight line in in, in mathematics and calculus straight this is called straight line this is a straight line don't think straight line means this straight line means what do you, what do you have learned as slanting line that is known as straight line out here right the graph the distance time graph what graph distance time graph the distance time graph distance time graph of a body undergoing uniform motion these will come as one mark questions huh? or they will give you graphs they will ask you identify which is what motion undergoing uniform motion is a straight line okay now since it is graph let's talk little bit about graphs also all of you written understood uniform motion fine chalo but do you think in your daily life you 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 Encounter uniform motion? No, you don't encounter. It's not possible. So, can you define what is non-uniform motion? Write that also. Make a make a ultra of this. A body is said to be undergoing non-uniform non -uniform motion, motion if it if it has unequal distance. Unequal distance. Equal, inter equal intervals, intervals of, time. of time. The same equal intervals of time. You are covering unequal distances. Sometimes five, sometimes four, three, whatever it may. ठीक है. You can also cover in unequal uh, time intervals, no? Unequal intervals of time, then your assessment itself is wrong. 
see rishab try to understand what you are assessing if i want to suppose if i want to organize a inter school uh, running race competition i have to fix one thing standard all class 8 boys can i take a 8 class boy from your school and a 10 class boy from that school no so make the intervals equal then only we can compare you right how do you say so and so made charges more so and so made charges less because the time is constant per month what is the charge the maid is going to charge you you can't say that i am i'll assess that maid on a 15 days basis i'll assess this maid on a 45 days basis this one i'll assess on a 6 month aisa thodi ho sakta hai so whether the you are changing the intervals also you are changing what the distances also how can you measure you can't measure you have to keep one thing constant so let the time intervals be constant and let let the time intervals be constant however let the distances covered be non uniform and in that case write down how will the graph look like now don't get bogged down by what graph your book has shown it need not be that for non uniform motion the book shows a graph like this okay the book shows a graph like this now tell me what is the difference between these two graphs you all should understand graph book shows non uniform motion like this but our friend vivan he wrote no he showed the graph like this he is not wrong can you tell me the difference between the two graphs what this, is the difference between the two sir, graphs yes sir one graph the the blue line graph it suddenly uh, went up which shows that it it, it speeds up yeah Uh, then, so the blue uh, line shows actually a journey which is actually speeding up slowly and the yellow line shows a graph which is actually slowing, slowing down but even that is non uniform motion sir i don't agree with you at all i am making a graph like this yes this is also non uniform motion end of the day it should not be a straight line it should not be a straight line and what are your equal time intervals sir my equal time intervals remain the same i am judging them at these equal time intervals and i find that they are never covering same distance can you can you identify what happened here what is happening in this this part this part let's see who is going to answer me this what is happening in this part in in this the the, the car is the first uh, the speed is increasing and the like it just keeps increasing mm -hmm. so it's constant it's staying at the same speed. speed what graph is it what graph straight line No, no. What is the graph? Distance time. Distance time. Uh, distance time. Say mm -hmm. this was eight o'clock, and this is eight thirty. What has happened, sir? He is in the famous Hyderabad jam. He is at the same distance where he was. Vehicle has not moved at all. This is how. It is at rest. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Shiv, your answer was correct. Good. It's staying at the same place. Now, tell me one thing. Is this part possible? Let's see. Can you have a graph like this? Yes. Think, think and answer. Think. Huh? We can't. Time Why? Why? Why we can't have a graph like this? Let's see. Time will go. 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 Time will क्योंकि द डिस्टेंस विल इंक्रीज अकॉर्डिंग टू टाइम टाइम थोड़ी ना डॉक्टर स्ट्रेंज की तरफ पीछे कर देंगे इट विल टाइम पीछे कहां गया है एक ही टाइम पे है ना अभी भी आंसर सटीक नहीं हुआ है इट्स द सेम एनीवन इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आंसर जो भी देगा सोचो सोचो फिजिक्स टाइम डजंट स्टे स्टिल स्टिल नॉट एट द सेम प्लेस स्टिल नॉट द आंसर इज आई एम समवट केम आउट फ्रॉम माय माउथ इट्स द आंसर इज स्टिल नॉट करेक्ट Are are you a ghost that at eight thirty you are at in orbit mall also and eight thirty you are at Jubilee Hills also? Is it no. possible? No. No. At the same time, a person cannot be at two different places. <laughs> that means you are a ghost or a spirit, है ना? Eight thirty, how can I be at two places? So don't make a graph like this. Always stick to this type of a graph or this type of a graph to avoid any confusion. Rishab, did you understand? At eight thirty, I am somewhere at say Connaught Place. And at eight thirty, I am at Chandni Chowk, Delhi. You will say, "Sir, he is a ghost." As simple as that. One time, pe, one man, two places, pe, nahi reh sakta hai. Unless and until there is a clone of me. Isn't physics interesting now? 
So uniform motion clear. You can draw graphs of uniform motion. You can understand what happens in graphs of uniform motion. You also understood two different things that if a vehicle is stationary, how does the graph look like? And how can an anomalous situation be presented to you in graph and yet try to, and they try to trick you? Like, so for example, I showed you a graph in which is vertical and the time is same. At the same time, you cannot go to two different places. It's not possible. Clear? Non-uniform motion, clear, beta. So in your daily life, what, what motion do you undergo every day? Non-uniform non motion because we travel equal distances under no, sorry, unequal, unequal distances distance in equal, equal intervals, intervals of time. time. Okay. Another question they might ask you, a body falling freely. Okay. Let's say a body falling freely. Yeah. What do we do? We need to make a body fall freely. For it. And this will become a little bit more clear from examples after this. Now, say lay, let's say this is a tower, any of our tower. This is 19th floor. And from 19th floor, there is a naughty boy. Why don't we say naughty girl? A girl can also be naughty. Yes. Why always boys are naughty? Naughty girl. Okay. And what she does, she drops one ball. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what will happen? As the ball falls, will it speed up or will it come at the same speed? Speed, speed up. up. Speed up. Why will it speed, speed up? up? Why? 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 Because it is falling downward. Oh, if you think it falls because downward, gravity, gravity is pulling it. Gravity. Oh gravity. man, that is the answer. There is Mother Earth, and Mother Earth says, "You're my Pulling. child." come down to me and everything mother earth pulls towards it. So there's gravity acting on this ball and this ball will come down speedily. There's something called acceleration, which we'll learn once we get into that topic. So initially, first the ball will be covering this much distance. In the next second, it will be covering more distance. In the next second, some more. And at last, it will come and thud non-uniform motion. So they may ask you a question that a body that fall, this, that is dropped, dropped from a height, does it undergo uniform motion or non-uniform motion? Sir, non-uniform yeah. motion. Yeah. In reality, everything is non-uniform motion. You can't have uniform motion. Done. I'm closing these two topics. Is there any question for anyone? Lot uh, of things uh, you have learned. Yes, sir. Body falling freely. Can we call it a uniform accelerated motion? We have not yet studied accelerated motion. So why are you bringing that concept? Please hold. Suspend your judgment. Dhire dhire. Now we are just having starters. You are saying, sir, what is the desert? Isn't it tasty? We have not gone there. We are at starter level now. Okay. Kebabs, veg fingers, harabara kebab, and toothpick. Right? Chale. So. Are we fine with rest, motion, scalar, vector, distance, displacement, uniform motion, non-uniform motion? And the first type of graph that you saw so far is a distance time graph. Now, this distance time graph will be haunting you a lot in this chapter. We first saw a distance time graph. And what are the specialities with that graph? Well, if it's a uniform motion, the graph is a straight line. If it's a non-uniform motion, the graph is a curve. The curve can open upwards or the curve can open downwards. If it is opening upwards, it's a non-uniform speedy motion. And if it's opening downwards or it's facing downwards, it's a non-uniform slowed motion, right? Fine. Now we get into three more topic. Amar Akbar Antony. And the first topic of that is speed speed will have it's like special appearance you know do you know what is special appearance in a movie special appearance rithik roshan a well, little bit uh, paisa paisa nahi leta. what is the difference between special appearance and guest appearance <laughs> friendly appearance paisa nahi leta is Ah, oh, yes, sir. Say, Pathan mein Salman Khan aata hai na. Uh -huh. That's friendly appearance. In that, he's actually promoting his next Tiger movie, which will come up. Okay. Ah, so you won't take money. Ah, you don't take money. Yeah. You give you, money. When you disturb me sometimes and you ask problems to me, I also give you friendly appearance. Na? I don't tell you. Ah, yeah, but I'm not Salman. No, you give both. Take special be. So special appearance may I got speed. Speed is the ratio of distance over and time time and in many small class, lower grade classes you have always crammed this formula distance equal to speed into time you know? <laughs> who has given birth to speed sir speed has been given birth by a parent who is a scalar so speed is also scalar you know? ka beta hoga 
Sir, what is the SI unit of speed? The SI unit of speed is distance is measured in meter and time is measured in second. So the SI unit of speed is meters meter per, per second. second. Or but children, per since, second. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Again, you are eating desert. Don't eat desert. However, since you all will go to higher classes, start it writing it in this format. This is the internationally accepted format, MS minus one. Why is it minus one? x to the power minus m is equal to 1 by x to the power m. Meter second to the power minus 1 is meter 1 by second to the power 1, which is equal to meter per second. Got it? Sir, but whenever we travel by buses and all, the speed is usually said as kilometers Kilo per hour. Very good. Kilometers per hour. Kmph, as they say. So, first thing comes up is the first conversion of your life. First conversion. One kilometer over one hour is equal to 1,000 over 60 minutes, which is equal to 1,000 meters over 60 into 60 seconds, which is 1,000 by 3600 meters per second. After that starts the beautiful journey of striking out zeros. Ek liya, ek liya, do liya, do liya. Two fives are 10, two 18s are 36. So children write it. One kilometer per hour is equal to five by 18 meter per second. second. Okay, this comes very handy when you're doing problem. You'll ask me why sir? Because teachers like me are never your friends. They are your enemy. They'll give you one data in kilometer per hour, one data in meters, one data in hour, one in minute, so that you get confused. Okay, this is your first conversion data. Samaj me aya? Yes. Now, the question that comes is. Sir, you know, Papa has got a car. Very good. And in that car, there is something like this. Good. And there are two like this on the steering panel. Very good. Sir, I don't know what they, they look like. Bhut jaisa. Edometer, odometer. Okay. Wow, great. On the right hand side, it will always be written in KMPH unless and until you are in US where it will be written in MPH miles per hour. Okay. Otherwise, it will be always in KMPH. And on the left hand side is basically odometer, is basically the tachometer. That we will see later. Okay. Uh, this is the tachometer. That is to see the RPM of the engine. This is not our consideration. Our consideration is this right now. KMPH. Now tell me, when your papa or your mummy drives the car, do they travel in displacement mode or in distance mode? Distance. Distance, more. distance, obviously, it cannot always be in displacement. Mode. So, this actually measures your speed, right? Later on, we will get to know what type of speed it is measuring. Let us keep this aside for a time, okay? Now, tell me, since you have understood speed, now speed has again got two brothers. One is known as instant Instantaneous speed, whether in book or not, you please understand. Instantaneous speed, one is average speed. Okay, and don't cram the formula. Instantaneous speed, what is Maggie known as? Instant noodles. Instant noodles. Instant noodles. Instant noodles. मतलब क्या है? वही का वही noodles. खोला और noodle बन गया. Cup noodles. Instant noodles. So instantaneous speed का मतलब क्या है? अबे इच का speed कितना है बोलो. अभी का speed कितना है बोलो. So me and Rishabh are driving a car and Rishabh says, sir, what is the speed? I think there's a goat in here. What is the speed? 60. What is the time? 8.32, 43 seconds. So your car speedometer never gives you average speed. It gives you instantaneous speed. Because whenever you look at your car speedometer, let her look at your watch. It is the speed at that time. Did you get me? It is the speed at that particular time. That is known as what speed? Instantaneous, instantaneous speed. speed. So when the policeman is fining you for over speeding, what is he fining you with? Instantaneous, Instantaneous speed. speed. Because he gives you a photograph. There will be a time, the speed, which is increased. At that time, 
आपका स्पीड ये था नहीं उमेश नहीं नहीं सर मैं तो स्लो ही चला रहा हूँ हाईटेक सिटी में नो सर यू सी फोटोग्राफ एट फोर्टी टू मिनट योर स्पीड वॉज दिस बस फाइन दैट वॉज योर इंस्टेंटेनियस स्पीड द स्पीड कैमरा कैचेज योर इंस्टेंटेनियस स्पीड गॉर इट हैव यू अंडरस्टूड तो द स्पीडोमीटर ऑफ अ कार always tells you about what about your instantaneous speed it doesn't tell you about average speed you may drive from here to delhi and you tell sir what has been the average speed no it doesn't tell me about the average speed every time you look at the speedometer it is the speed at that time sir cow and goat came in front i have reduced ah kata bhi niche aa gaya twink karke sir free road i have paid toll it's a free road ah kata upar chala gaya right now the speed is more did you understand the concept of instantaneous speed theek hai तो आपको जब पुलिस वाला फाइन करता है कि फाइंस यू ऑन योर इंस्टेंटेनियस स्पीड उस वक्त आपका स्पीड क्या था व्हाट वाज द स्पीड एट दैट टाइम दिस इज स्टडीड मोर इन डिटेल इन क्लास 11 बट यू शुड नो दैट द ओडोमीटर दिस इज नोन एज द स्पीडोमीटर स्पीडोमीटर और इट इज आल्सो नोन एज द ओडोमीटर ओडोमीटर व्हाई बिकॉज द ओडोमीटर कीप्स अ ट्रैक ऑफ द ट्रिप ओडोमीटर इज दिस पार्ट हाउ मच किलोमीटर यू ट्रेवल पीपल यूजली विल सेट इट एट जीरो and when they reach bangalore they will see okay very good i have travel some 600 km you know odometer you can reset it zero always be sit on the car seat if you want to learn physics not to drive the car but just to see what all informations you get there will be an odometer many people what they do when they refuel their car they will make it zero zero they'll see actually with one refueling of the car how much distance does the car travel i mean what is the condition of the car so you can have nowadays cars come with two trips trip a trip b so you can find this and when i sell my car to shreyas i tell him kitna purana hai sir sir shreyas my car is around 3 years old sir how much has it travel i'll say around 35000 kilometers what is the proof he will look at the odometer the odometer will never lie and this information is always there with the service station and nowadays all the cars have got gps data like in my car automatically on my mobile also i get to see how much kilometers my car has travel right got it instantaneous speed clear Anyone any doubt on instantaneous speed? Instant बोले तो instant. उसी time क्या speed था? Right, fine. Now we talk about this one. This one will haunt you more in grade nine. Okay. What is average speed? <coughs> average speed the formula says formula is very simple. T D T divided by T T T. The easiest way to remember. T D T T D T total distance traveled divided by total time taken. Like you know oh. what is S S T? SST will be known by Neha and Vishal. It is a common thing in Delhi. Saral sasta tikau, okay? Oh. Saral sasta tikau, okay? We all want that type of thing. But yeah, cheap, dikhaiyega. But yeah, acha is lasting karega na. Ha ha ha. Easy hai na. Ha, sab hai. Paise mat dijiye, madam. Take it na. So the formula is total distance covered travel. Okay. Okay. Now, in this, we will have a lot of interesting discussion. Karenge. Total. time taken okay. got it let's see let's see some data in which earlier means you can catch and catch people okay let's say there is a family and this family wants to travel from hyderabad to say mumbai okay by car and hyderabad to mumbai is roughly around say let's say 700 kilometers is the distance right 700 kilometers is the distance now this person started his journey at around 6 am in the morning 6 a.m. in the morning, and at just seven with six, how much is six plus seven? Thirteen. Thirteen. At thirteen hundred, this person has reached Mumbai. At thirteen hundred, the person has reached Mumbai. Okay. Now in Mumbai, the senior members of the house are there. Instead of greeting them, they are all having frowning faces. Huh? इतना बजे शुरू किया था? छह बजे शुरू किया था. एक बजे बॉम्बे आ गया. You reach Bombay. Yes, then you will say, "Oh, nothing. I actually maintained an average speed of hundred kilometers, kilometers. which is very easy. You just look at it. Total distance travelled to Mumbai was seven hundred. Total time taken seven hours, hours, which is equal to hundred kilometer per hour. What went wrong? Why are these people angry? Hundred kilometer per hour is not at all a speed. Nowadays, people drive at hundred ten, hundred twenty. Why are these people angry? Because इनका जो छोटा बच्चा है ना वो आके ग्रैंडसन को बोलता है दादा दादा हम लोग मैकडोनल्ड्स में रुके थे हमने खाना खाया 
मैं स्लाइड पे चढ़ा उसके बाद हम फिर पुणे के बाद मैकडोनल्ड में रुके थे पापा ने दो बार रिफ्यूलिंग भी किया था गुड दो बार हम वॉशरूम के लिए भी रुके सो मच ऑफ स्टॉप यू डिड आफ्टर दैट यू रीच विद इन थर्टीन हंड्रेड एवरेज स्पीड does not tell me what you did in between the journey are you understanding what this fellow has done this fellow after traveling 2 hours must have stopped somewhere and he must have stopped for 30 minutes did he travel these 30 minutes no 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 that means he did not travel at 100 km he must have traveled some sections at much higher speed then only his 100 km ka average aayega na acha samajh mein nahi aa raha hai ruko thoda aur acha samajh aa raha hai samajh aa raha hai maan lo श्रेयस का एवरेज मार्क्स है एटी फाइव ठीक है और उसको हिंदी में मिला है फिफ्टी टू इसका मतलब सम सब्जेक्ट्स ही मस्ट हैव स्कोर्ड मोर देन एटी फाइव ना अदरवाइज हाउ इज ही मेंटेनिंग व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय एवरेज सर श्रेयस मार्क्स आर लाइक दिस सो व्हाट इज द एवरेज एवरेज इज समथिंग लाइक दिस वॉट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स दीज आर दब्जेक्ट वेर ही स्कोर्ड एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी वेल एंड दीज आर दब्जेक्ट फॉर ही विच ही गॉट डंडा ये सब खराब किया in order to pull up these subjects he has to score two subjects very nicely then only his average is coming here at 85 that means the person after making so many stops he could reach in 7 hours every stop he must have stopped for 15 20 minutes imagine if mcdonalds mein khana khayega refueling takes 10 15 minutes but what did we plot at the end of the day he started at 6 o'clock he reached at 1300 seven hours that why these two people are angry he has done unsafe driving on the road he did not maintain 100 km at some sections he must have speeded the car even at 180 190 chalaya hoga tabhi ja ke 100 aaya hoga nahi to nahi hoga na is this example understood by you an average speed just gives you a rough idea so we what do we say uh how much uh, was your average speed from bombay to uh, while going to bombay uh, i kept around 100 is my average speed okay 100 average speed tha na right fine then it's 70 so what should be the safe thing if somebody says we maintained an average speed of 70 that's fine 70 ka average speed lagayega to kitna time lagega bombay jane ke liye 10 hours lagega 700 kilometers 70 per kilometer that means you are going properly you are stopping again if i tell you that the person maintained 70 km per hour it does not mean he traveled at 70 he must have traveled at 100 110 120 throughout but he stopped for mcdonald he stopped for refueling he paid tolls he must have gone to the washroom hai na jam hua hoga road mein sab kuch encounter karne ke baad average speed 70 aaya hai so next time some friends of your tell you Our average speed was 120. You should actually say, Baba, you have to go and walk. You have to come at very high speed. Sir. Yes, sir. This means, sir, the Google also calculates. Uh, Google calculates average. average speed. Google, what Google will do? Google's algorithm is simple. Google calculates your car speed, what speed you are traveling by just taking one or two average data, and after that, it plots. It will see what is the distance remaining to be covered, plus what is the congestion on the road. sometimes they will show you like google will show yellow and red 5 minutes 6 minutes it may be more than 6 minutes tentative utna pakad lo 6 minute ka to baithna hai apne ko did you get it or mm -hmm. else what you can do take so many sim cards in a telephone make it active and drop all the phones on the road google will still show a jam because google plots the jam from what from your sim card data nothing more than that they don't calculate by vehicle they see how many people are there so got it now one interesting thing how many of you know about know the difference between race versus rally you know car race versus car rally what is the difference have you heard about car rally the himalayan car rally the great himalayan car rally lot of rallies happen tamil nadu is famous for rallies multiple cars ah uh, multiple car isme bhi rehta what is race What is the difference between car race and rally? Race में they go really fast. अच्छा and rally में they talk to you and go hi प्रतिजय how are you? हाँ sir in race they the cars move in a race track and rally they move in a public place. Ah uh, they move in a public place that is correct I agree. In a race will always happen in a track 
and a rally will always happen. Great Himalayan rally or Great Himalayan Kanyakumari rally. So it will start from Himalayas, from Leh, and it will end in Kanyakumari. Good. Understood. What is the other difference? What is what do what happens in a race? A running race, dekhe na. What is the competition all about? Time. Winning the race. Time taken. Winning the race. Hey, time taken. Ultimately, who travels fast? Simple as that. First one who comes. Ah, so a car race means all the cars will be in one line, and zoom. Whoever came first, oh, usko medal de do, champagne ka bottle de do, prize de do, khatam ho gaya. Right? Rally is not like that. Rally is something interesting. In rally, more than the driver. The more important role is played by the navigator. You know who is the navigator? Ah, it will okay. be a guy who will sit beside you. So in rally, there will be some pit stops. Say, for example, the rally started from here. And after 200 kilometers, there will be a pit stop B. Okay. Now, first car, Rishabh went out. After that, Sudhirti's car went. After that, Vanya. After that, Zoe. After that, me. You all are going one after one. Whenever we are starting from A, the navigator of the car will be handed one data. Maintain 80 kilometers average up till B. Very interesting. Maintain 80 kilometers average up till B. That's all. They will not tell you how far is B, where is B. They will tell you the next pit stop is B. Maintain 80 kilometer average. Now tell me, you are driving on the mountains. Can you maintain 80 kilometer average? No. Not possible. So the navigator has to every time Tell the driver, means if you maintain 80 kilometer average, you should come to this place at some time, HH, MM, SS. Do you agree or not? Some hour, minute, you should come to this place. But you will not be able to come. I ni sakte Kaise aoge? Either you will come before this time, which they do not. After. Or you will come delayed by that time. Agreed. Whether you come for early or you come delayed, you will get what is known as a penalty point. Are bhai sahab, aap to jaldi aage. Or late So the driver has only one thing. Say, suppose there are there is a herd of goat in front and the driver breaks it. The navigator will say, Hey, two second wape loose kya tha, speed bara, speed bara. Otherwise, you are not able to maintain 80 average. So you come to the next point. Then at the next point, again you will be handled a chart that up to C maintain some 70 kilometers average. Aise kar kar ke final stop me ake jiska penalty point subse kam hota hai, he's the winner of the rally. So a rally is not only about speeding. If you speed also, it's not that you will win. A rally is about how nicely you can take the directions and meet that directions. Got it? Okay. Right. And the navigator is like a computer in a rally. He has to constantly do that calculation and tell the driver, okay, fine. We were slow in this section. What we will do? Let's uh, speed up now. 100 mein chala. Agla 15 okay. 100 mein chala. Fir yaan slow kar. This like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, F1 racing maybe oh, navigator tells the uh, racer. Formula to be... one is a race in that the pit the pit stop time is calculated. Within this much time, you have to change the tires of the car. That's a race. But the uh, navigator, but the navigator, navigator is not sitting beside you. There's no person who sits beside you in a Formula One. It's a single seater. In a rally, it will be a normal car. You'll take your normal Toyota Corolla and you will drive it and go. Only thing is you have to. Maintain time. So, have you understood average speed wala problem? So, if a problem comes on average speed, what is the what is the way to calculate average speed? Average speed is total distance traveled. So, let's write down speed as a ratio is the ratio of distance over time. Okay. Do you know how to see this as a triangle? You know how to see this as a triangle? Uh, triangle. Hmm. Okay. You make three ah, halves. So, speed is equal to distance over time. Speed is equal to distance over time. So, distance is equal to speed into time. Time is equal to distance over time. Right like this. Distance, then make a triangle and write it like this. Speed, and this is time. So so if, you find, if, you, if you want to find out speed, then you just look how does this data come to you. This data is like distance over time. Okay, fine. Now, if you want to say, sorry, if you want to find out, one minute, if you want to find out, if you want to find out, sir, what is time? Then just cover time 
time is distance upon speed got it if you want to cover if you want to find out what is distance then just circle up distance speed into time if they are in the same level correct so speed is distance upon time what should we remember speed is a scalar quantity speed is a scalar quantity because distance is also a scalar quantity and there are two type of speeds one is known as instantaneous speed and one is known as average speed clear or not any doubt up till here i am not getting questions from you all that means you all have understood everything okay now welcome to some notations let's say this is a was a generic idea let's understand some notations from here onwards now from here onwards remember distance in physics is denoted by the letter s rather s stands more for displacement but for right now you can take distance also as s you won't write it as d okay speed is denoted by v and time is denoted by t that means v is equal to s over t and in si unit it is meter over seconds sir vivan darling are you writing you seem to be totally in some other world so far you ate something before that you have brought something else on the screen no i was writing fully i don't think you were writing okay i can say only once i will not say twice i am like I, I, I where is where where have you written instantaneous speed no you have not written sir i my eyes are as i told you if you see that video one girl says very nicely the way sir used to hack into our systems it used we used to feel that he is sitting beside us एक नजर मेरे नजर को धोखा मत दो मैं एक बार ही बोलता हूँ वन ड्रॉइंग थोड़ी देख रहा है ले लो शी टेक्स इट देन कॉन्शियंस फिल कुछ नहीं शी डिड नॉट लिसन टू अर कॉन्शियंस नेक्स्ट डे वेन शी अगेन गोज टू स्टील समथिंग The conscience धीरे से बोलेगा डोंट क्योंकि आप सुनता नहीं है ना उसका बात ये जयदीप दास भी ऐसा ही है आज बोल दिया आपको दैट यू आर नॉट राइटिंग नाउ यू हैव टू चॉइसेस आइदर एग्री टू मी एंड से नो सर सॉरी हेंस ऑन आई विल राइट यस सर आई वॉज डिटल बेट डिस्ट्रेक्टेड और एल्स आर्ग्यू विथ मी इफ यू आर्ग्यू विथ मी देन सिंपल वर्ड इज वट गुज माई मेरा क्या जाता है विल आई अपियर फॉर क्लास नाइन अगेन नो And if I look in selfish way, क्या मुझे फी मिल गया है पैसा हाँ मिल गया है ना अब तुम आओ मत आओ मस्ती मारो अपने को क्या लेना देना बट इज दैट दू आर सपोज टू बिहेव नो पेरेंट्स आर वर्किंग हार्ड टू मेक यू स्टडी यू गो टू अल यू पे अर देर यू नॉट स्टडिंग फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट फ्रॉम मी सो वाई दैट वन आर वी कैन बी सीरियस एंड इफ यू डोंट फाइंड इंटरेस्ट इन एनी सब्जेक्ट तब तो फिर क्या है वी आर नॉट एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर्स ना i'm not saying find interest but if you don't like it also you have to read it because this is a part of your curriculum what excuse will i give this year no sir i did not do a new concepts because when we do numericals we will get stuck up theek hai and you also did a calculation so you have done this then uh, we sir? yes sir sir how will we denote uh, velocity as if v equals to speed no we'll come to that again You are trying to have the velocity. के साथ तेरा बहुत प्यार है तेरे गर्लफ्रेंड की तरह उस दिन से velocity, 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 velocity. बाबा अब इस speed पे है ना ठीक है so average speed we are aware of now children you will be getting lot of uh, problems in terms of average speed okay there will be lot of average speed which will come to you so <coughs> you have to be very very careful about solving those problems let's see one more graph out here before we move on to our next thing okay next topic now let's say let's say i am plotting something different now this is time and this is speed okay how many of you are aware of the word called cruise control what is cruise control mean so it uh, i think it keeps it like constant, constant. Uh, have you experienced cruise control many cars have cruise cruise yeah. control so in cruise control what we do 
like many people do it on this on our ORRs and all. Once you get into ORR, you can just fix the cruise and then put your legs away. Car is like a ghost and it will go at one speed. Okay, so that's cruise control. Now, since mm -hmm. Neha is aware of cruise control, suppose Neha has pressed cruise and she has pressed the cruise at what 80 kilometer because beyond that there will be a fine or a ticket that will be issued to her. So if it is 80 kilometer, Neha is on cruise drive now. Cruise. How should the graph plot line? Tell me. How should the graph plot like? Have you understood kya main bolne ki koshish kar raha Neha is driving a car. She has got on to a toll road and now she is on her lane. And since the, a toll road is a free road, right? A free road. So the toll road says permissible speed, 80 kilometer per hour. So what does Neha do? Neha has fixed 80 kilometer on her car and put the car on cruise control. So she no longer needs to press accelerator and all. And she is munching tobler on and the car is going. How should the graph look like now? Uh, the speed is constant, cannot be a straight line. Straight line, money, sir. Straight line, na, straight line is very, very. You have to tell me. Straight uh, line. Straight line means I understand this is straight line. You tell me what are you what do you mean? Uh, this is also straight line. Sir, this is also this is also straight line. What type of line will you get? Uh, yes, sir. Straight line. So, sir. If she is traveling for four hours, we'll... Uh... Four nahi. 15 minutes. Four Haan, minutes. 15 four minutes ye, she is right now at 8.15 and she is on the ORR till 8.30. And she has set her car on cruise. Bing, ja is a graph kaisa uh, so, 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 Nine onwards, it's like this. You cannot have only answers cooked to your style. Yes, tell me. So it would be curve, but it would be like uh, going... Not any much curve, curve will be there. Think, think, speak, speak. Not speak what comes to mind. Yes, Neha, you tell me. So I was uh, thinking if, like, I think it will be uniform motion because it's the same speed uh, and mm -hmm. while the, during the same time. Look at my graph. On my y-axis is speed. On my yeah. x-axis is time. So how should the plot look like? I'm just asking how should the plot look like? Come on, children. This much I expect. Sure, it should not be like a vertical line. line. It won't be like, like from eight, like just like not you can see change like hora hai. So uh -huh. Sanvi or Shoria Dono Bol Raha. Okay. Not I'll vertical. Come. Okay, I'll come to Sanvi also. Yeah. Shoria kya bol raha bolo. Uh, since it's not distance, it's speed, uh, and it's on cruise control, so speed change nahi hoga. So I, I think it should be a vertical line. It should vertical. be a vertical line. Kaisa? Aisa? No. Uh, yeah. Vertical I, mane to yehi hai na? Haan, vai se, vai se. Achha, yeah. Sanvi, kya bolte ho? Uh, since that's the time, and then there's a speed, um, but like it cannot like stay on that speed, like on that time. For long time. No, no. If you are disputing with Shoria, dispute with the graph. Na. Dispute with him. Let's see uh, what is your point. Let's bring the argument. Okay. And Neha has already raised her hand. I'll go back to her also. Come on, Sanvi. Argue. What is the thing? Don't give it up. Argue. Karo na. Kya hai? You may be wrong. Yaar. What is the big deal? Shoria also may be right. He may be wrong. Ah, Sudriti, bolo. You have something to say. Sir, I think it will be... <clears throat> sorry. I think it will be horizontal. Yeah, I think nahi hai mere paas. Mere paas, it no, happens, no, it doesn't happen. Horizontal. If she says horizontal. Kaisa horizontal? Horizontal bole to aisa, so aisa. Because it is like on the same speed, but the time is still yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, Sanvi, you agree with uh, Sudriti's graph? What about Neha? What do you say? Yes, sir, I agree with Sudriti. It's like Are the time is still. Tum log itna analysis karte ho? Just look at simple thing. What is the graph? Speed versus time. Sir, where is 80 kilometer? This is speed graph. Na? So this will be 0 kilometer, 10 kilometer, 20 kilometer. This is say 80 kilometer. So this particular line on the y-axis represents, this is my graph papers line. This is all 80 kilometer. Do you agree? Yes. And our girl Neha was actually traveling from 8.15 to 8.30 at 80 kilometer. Done. Shorya, ye wala kyun nahi hoga? Aap kya kehna chahte ho? Dekho, Shorya, aapka graph ke mutabik kya hai? Bata hai? 8.15 mein, dekho, kya interesting data aega? 8.15 mein nahi haa. 
दस किलोमीटर में भी थी एट फिफ्टीन में नहीं हाँ पंद्रह में भी थी बीस में भी थी पच्चीस में भी थी अस्सी में भी है सौ में भी भगवान तक पहुंच गई एट फिफ्टीन में ऐसा हो सकता है क्या नहीं ना सो इसी ऐसे करके हम अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे नहीं हो सकता है दैट मीन्स आर वर्टिकल लाइन वर्टिकल लाइन डालने से पहले दो बार सोचने का वर्टिकल लाइन कभी नहीं होता है ठीक है वर्टिकल लाइन विल ऑलवेज लीड यू इनटू ट्रबल थिंक टू एस इट मे बी इन सम केसेस बट यहाँ तो नहीं होगा सो दिस इज नेहा थिंग नाउ लेट अस एड सम मोर यू नो फन टू दिस ग्राफ नेहा स्टार्टेड एट अराउंड से एट ओ फ्रॉम अर हाउस ओके लेट से You just started at eight o'clock. How did Neha's journey start? She must have come out from her house, right? From house to the toll road. Do you think it was a uniform motion? No. In practical, no. No. So her journey from her house to the toll gate, maybe. Oh, for it, na late ho gaya. Movie jana hai. She must have speeded. Or she must be. Arey ruko, gari maza se gana cassette nikal ke chala chala ke jao. Aise gaya hoga. ठीक है एंड वंस शी पेड द टोल एंड शी एग्जिटेड फ्रॉम द टोल ऑब्वियसली देर इज नो चांस ऑफ स्पीडिंग अगेन आफ्टर दैट शी मस्ट हैव हर स्पीड मस्ट हैव फॉलन डाउन एंड देन द स्पीड मस्ट हैव क्रेप्ट अप क्रेप्ट डाउन बिकॉज शी इज ट्रेवलिंग इन द सिटी और ऐसे जा रहा है दिस इज रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल डोंट डोंट गेट कॉपी द ग्राफ्स ऑफ बुक आप अपना नजरिया लगाओ ना all day that we travel in our our house in in hyderabad this is the stretch we love to travel this is ora without looking at the graph you can now say sir this is the point when everyone enjoys music everyone enjoys some nuts and some you know some sort of chips and all because this is the lovely part of the journey then we tell you what is this part of the journey this is mehdi patnam sir toli choki total crowded like this right got it abhi clear hua uniform motion kaisa hota hai to ye wala portion this will be uniform motion this will be uniform motion because she is covering equal distance so if you try to plot the s versus t graph now this is a v versus t graph sir what is s s means distance yaad rakhna then let's say this portion was cd cd will come like this aisa aayega this is uniform motion did you understand the difference between the two graph one is a st graph one is a vt graph in vt graph it's a horizontal line because the speed is constant in an st graph it is like this because she is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time thoda aur samjhaiye sir yahan se yahan kitna some time yahan se yahan kitna some distance again some time some equal distance again some time some equal distance so she is going uniform motion if you understand graphs properly the entire this chapter will be easy for you In this, we'll learn lot of graphs. अब हम जल्दी नहीं पढ़ना है आपको स्कूल पढ़ा रहा है बहुत अच्छी बात है आप यहाँ रेनफोर्स करो गेट योर सेल्फ रेनफोर्स यस रिशम योर क्वेश्चन सो वट वट विद डिफरेंस विद ग्राफ शोइंग दैट इट इज इन क्रूज कंट्रोल एंड इट इज इन रेस्ट 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 मीन्स देयर के नॉट बी एनी स्पीड एट ऑल स्पीड विल कॉल जीरो इफ इट इज रेस्ट रेस्ट मीन्स वॉट रेस्ट मीन्स दिस ग्राफ विल इमीडिएटली फॉल नीचे आ जाएगा एट रेस्ट वॉट इज द स्पीड जीरो zero so no, i say sir, it is also represented by a straight line no that is in st graph don't confuse in st graph if i show straight line means what what i what i'm trying to show by straight line let's look at this graph let's look at this graph okay these are the different times so let's let's plot the time this is 815 this is 830 this is 845 you are still at 45 km you have not moved right what is your speed let's say let's calculate speed speed is equal to distance by time how much distance you moved beta zero what is your time sir time we have covered some 30 seconds so far so what is the value zero so you will you will always get v as zero and rest that means let's say let's say suppose suddenly neha came to on orr she felt that she got a phone call and she should stop her car how will the graph look like how will the graph look like after traveling some distance at 817 neha got a call at 817 neha got a call and she felt that i should stop the car so she stopped the car at 817 it's come to stop now tell me two things neha stopped this way and neha stopped this way what does these two graph tell you we'll study all this but just to understand what does the blue graph tell you and what does the pink graph tell you 
This is a pink like graph. Stop slower for the blue graph. Yes, very good. The pink one is like the Martia star. Big. Haram. Dangerous. And the blue one is Aram se niche karke tuk 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 indicator deke tuk 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 karke side mein laate gaadi ko aram se roka. That's how you should stop. Do you get it? Hey, graph se sab pata chal jata hai. Next we will do problems in which we will give you the graph profile of somebody's driving. And you yourself will decode where he drove nicely, where he drove rash, where he drove. See, if you, if you observe Neha's driving out here at this position, we will say this was a rash driving. She immediately break. This was an intelligent. Thank you, Zoe. Very nice answer. She has braked slowly, giving indicators and then turning and pulling the vehicle on the curb side. Okay. Agre class may have problem carrying. So now, now up to theory, don't if you are attempting problems at your school, you want to bring up, bring up. But I would want you to study now. What all I want you to study? I want you to study uniform motion, non-uniform motion. And what all I want you to study speed and in speed, I want you to understand what is instantaneous, what is average, and then also a little bit about, you know, uh, speed time graph, whether if you get it in book or not, not an issue, or you can go through the video to understand this much. Are we fine till now? Or this, is page number 12? So much of uh, you can study up till I have PDF only. So you study till the sample problem. Uniform speed or constant speed. Do till there. So the idea is, children, your concept of speed should be clear. Speed is a scalar quantity because its birth was from a scalar parent, which is distance. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Unit of speed is meter per second. Conversion is 1 kilometer per hour is 5 by 18, which we will need. And once you study average speed, after that, speed is gone forever because speed was what? Special appearance. What will be after us like ghost is velocity. The favorite girlfriend of Shreyas. Velocity will be with us throughout the chapter. Not throughout the chapter, through next chapter up till class 11, 11, everything velocity. So we are just about to bid goodbye to speed. We just have some numericals to be done, which we'll do in our next class. And those numericals do come in your exams. So your um, confusion should not be there in terms of how to evaluate average speed, how to do and then when it comes to graph, as of now, don't break your head too much on the graphs. When the graph section comes, we will do graphs. Don't worry. But you should have a fair bit of idea. First of all, whenever you answer a graph, look at the type of graph. Is it a ST graph or is it a VT graph? Then try to plot your scenario. dislike The channel to dalo dislike on one of my students told me, sir, we really dislike kar sakte hai. Bilkul, baras nikalo baat ke. <laughs> like in, you know, the channel owner gets to know also. Wo bhi hai. Kaun sa geography se hua hai. Wo bhi was okay. it. It's okay, sir. Go and discuss. Yeah. Please. As long as you, it adds value to you, I'm more than happy. And please read. How many of you are doing a regular study? Just tell me yes or no. If you are not doing regular study, you will get lost out, specifically in physics. Things are very easy to learn and very easy to forget. After next class, I'll be starting to giving you, I'll start giving you what, you know, a little bit worksheet problems. So the problems in because problems will come from our next topic of discussion. So next class, we will do some problems and then migrate to velocity and acceleration and then to equations of motion. Okay. Bye-bye then.